Good morning, Heavenly Father. As we stand before you today in your omnipotent presence, we honor you, Father. We give you praise and worship you for who you are today, Father. And that we would ask, Father, that you would grant us strength and power and give us the strength to go through the task throughout the day, Father, and to honor you with all that we have. We are so honored to be in your presence, Father. And we thank you for being the great I am, for being Yahweh, King of all kings. And we thank you for your son, Yahshua, Father. We also thank you for the Holy Spirit that is in our presence this morning, Father, leading and guiding us and directing us. And we want to give you thanks for all things, Father. In Yahshua's name, we thank you. Father, this morning, i like to encourage your people this morning, Father, my brothers and my sisters. Whose report will you believe? Father, in Isaiah 53, 1 says, Who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of Yah revealed? Father, we just want to thank you because we adore you, Father, and we honor you. And we just thank you so much, Father, for all things. This report we believe because this is the report of Yah. This report is reported by both Isaiah and Peter. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought our peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Father, we just honor you for your goodness and your mercy. And we just want to say, whose report will you believe? Father, every day we get reports from the news, our experiences, our friends, and family, and may other sources as well. We also get reports from the word of Yah which oftentimes contradict what others are saying. So I'm saying again, my brothers and my sisters, whose report will you believe? Will you believe Yah's report or will you believe man's report? My brothers and my sisters, I know that the Bible speaks a lot about healing and sickness, but we also have other issues as well. For instance, health crisis, sickness, pain, some type of surgery, mental issues, financial crisis, marriage and family crisis, workplaces, career, pressure, unfair treatment, haunting past, and grief. These are some of the things that we go through in life. For instance, my husband had surgery for four hours, had a mask on his back, no complications, but he came through like pure gold. Yahweh is so awesome because we prayed and we believe the report of Yah. So my brothers and my sisters, even though we might be going through all these challenges in life, just know that the report of Yah is true. My brothers and my sisters, I have a report on one of my sisters that was addicted to drugs. This is so very emotional to me, but I just thank Yahweh. Her words was to me that, sis, I've been in darkness for 62 years and now it's time for me to transition into the light. She has given her life to Christ. She has been struggling to do the right thing. She has been out in that lifestyle for years, for 62 years, and now Yahweh is dealing with her, Christ is dealing with her, and now she chose to be in the light and she said to me, sis, I don't want to go back. I have spent 62 years in darkness and now it's time for me to go into the light and I want to spend the rest of my life in the light. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? The word says we should live and not die and I thank Yahweh for my sister and now she wants to be a warrior for Christ. Whose report will you believe? She believes the report of Yah. Thank God for her soul, her spirit, and her love for him. Be encouraged, my sisters and my brothers, because if he can do it for her, he can do it for you. Let me encourage you through the word of Yah. Psalms 1, 1 and 3 states, Bless are those who do not follow the advice of the ungodly, but delight in the law of Yah. A lot of people may advise you to do something contrary to Yah's word. For example, believing that a certain kind of sickness is incurable. Abraham did not consider his body 
or the deadness of Sarah's womb. But he believed the report of Yahweh saying, so shall your seed be. Abraham was convinced that Yah promised he was able to perform. My brothers and my sisters, be encouraged. Know the report of Yah. He said in his words, by his stripes of Yah, Yahshua, you are healed. The world's report says cancer is incurable. HIV is incurable. Sugar diabetes is incurable. Whose report will you believe? The woman with the issue of blood, she reported she saw Yahshua. While doctors could not heal her, she believed. In 2 Chronicles 16, 12-13, it speaks of a king, Asa, who only sought help from the doctors and never sought from the Lord, Yahshua. His sickness got worse and then he died. My brothers and my sisters, I come to encourage you. Let's have faith. Let's believe in the report of Yahshua. If he said it, he will perform it. If he says that he's going to heal you, believe it. If he says he's going to deliver you, believe it. Because his report, beyond any other reports, his report is true. So be encouraged, my brothers and my sisters, please. And know that the report of Yahweh is true. Whose report will you believe? Let's believe in the word of Yah because it is true. He's faithful, he's just, and he will perform. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters. I love you, praying for you always, in Yahshua's name. Be blessed.